shot away. Oh. It's just another super goal. Welcome back, everybody. Pitch side. England have won this one, 22 points to six. There's a little bit of an arm wrestle at the start, but England ran away with it in the end. Good afternoon, hello, and welcome to Northampton. This is the second semi-final of the RFU Under-18 Schools Cup. I am Scott Eburn, and I'll be taking you through today's proceedings here from Northampton School for Boys. I'd like to say I've been joined on commentary by Merchant Taylor School's Head of Sports Science, Phil Davies. Phil, thanks for joining us today. Thanks very much for having me. It's a bit blustery here in Northampton today. Um, thankfully, the rain's just disappeared. Let's hope it stays away and we get a cracking game of rugby. Well, you'll be able to see a bit of blue sky, patchy clouds in the distance and uh, already a fair few hundred supporters from both schools here with us. And yesterday, down south, we had the first semi-final. It was Sherbourne taking on Whitgift. And my word, that was a cracker. Here's the highlights. They're on the board and they've got a player advantage for the next 10 minutes. Oh, and Phoenix is on the wing, making a run. Pops it back inside and Charlie dots it down for the try. Scored. The question is whether or not the ball has gone forward. And the referee I think the is happy bit. with it. Try given. 8 0 Sherbin. It's a fantastic start from Matty coming your way. Trying to go on the blind side. Very close. It's Whitgift now. Inching towards the line. Some people celebrate. They're still not there just yet. They are now. And that's a try. try. This is brilliant for Sherbourne. 13 0, 15 minutes gone. Whitgift. Well, I'm not even sure they know what day it is right now. To there to uh, help you make that detection early. So now Whitgift again, they're using this driving mall. It's been the one area of success they've had in the game. And if they could get a score off it, running a into half time. So far. Just hope they can be stopped by Sherman forwards. Well, they're right over on the try line now. Surely they're going to get the try. They have done. The driving ball's done the damage. It was something that uh, they had been knocking on the door with, warning Sherbourne time after time. He's a county under-18 player. Yeah. And now it's Sherbourne getting their the ball going. In. And they're in. Freddie Walker touches it down. Fabulous try. And the first time that they get their ball working, it comes up with the try. What a brilliant start to this second half for Sherbourne. And again, Sherbourne up quickly. Release, go! If we're going backwards at the moment, might try and ship this one out to the backs. Oh, that's a good ball inside, and surely Whitgift are going to score here. And they do. They're over the line. George Press, the second rower, with plenty of space as he goes through to score for Whitgift. Yeah, two big scores would be required. And oh, it just clipped over. The wind was trying to push it back, but that was a, a teasing kick from George Case. But he was on the case. With a bit of a smirk on his face, he runs back for the restart. 
Certainly was a, a role. He's still not there yet. Neither is that one. Goodness me. Brilliant defence from Sherborne. And again. Rick is forwards trying to find a way through. Noah. And he has got it down. Piero Noah, the tight head prop. Eventually the pressure beginning and paying off for Whitgift. This to put Whitgift in front for the first time in the match. It's got the distance, it looks good. It is good. And Whitgift, who have been trailing the entire match, have gone in front, right at the business end. And that's it, it's all over. And there is silence at Sherbourne, apart from Whitgift, because they have just put their place in the final. It is heartache for Sherbourne, who have dominated the match, but couldn't see it off. And in the final minute, it was Whitgift with the penalty. Ben Fitzgerald slotting it over from just inside the halfway line to give Whitgift the victory, 24-23. Well, what a fantastic game that was yesterday afternoon. Sherborne with the uh, strong start, just narrowly missing out. Whitgift running out eventual winners, 23 points to 21. They will go to Twickenham in a couple of weeks' time. Thursday, 19th of March, the RFU Under-18 Schools Cup final. And it could well be a replay of last year's match where Warwick took on Whitgift in a... Phil, you've had a little look at some of the run-ins both of the today's sides have had. Northampton School for Boys perhaps having the slightly uh, more difficult run into this semi-final. Yeah, absolutely. You know, if you ever look at some of the teams that they've beaten on their route to the final, Stowe, Aundel, Samuel Whitbread, uh, Vars winners <coughs> last year, if I'm correct, Felstead, um, and a strong RGS Newcastle who won St. Joe's last year. Um, you don't get to the semi-final by fluke by beating teams like that. Um, Warwick, perennial kind of finalists here, they do very well um, and they, you know, they've got a really strong record and um, their route to the final, Bloxham, Solly Hall, Mount St Mary's, Bromsgrove, local rivals and Queggs Wakefield in the quarter-final of a tight fought game, 14-8. So again, two really strong teams with a good pedigree. Um, I know Northampton's under-15s uh, already secured their place in the, the national Vars. Sounds like we might have some movement here and the teams are on the way out. Well, here come the boys. Northampton School for Boys. There's been a boys' school in this town since 1541. And what an emphatic day this would be if they could find their way through this game and end up at Twickenham. So very interesting haircuts on display from some of the Northampton boys in early observation, but they have some size. Um, like I said, quite a few um, Northampton Saints uh, Academy boys on, on both sides, um, but it should be a really hotly contested game. Well, this is the uh, the Warwick School lineup. A few of these will indeed have played in the under-15 RFU Cup final a few years ago, and indeed last year in the under-18 edition. Will Banfield, captain to side from eight. Jack Aston and Finn Smith at half-back. And keep an eye out for Harry Spencer at 13. He's got a Worcester Academy contract for next season. It's the uh, blue and white hoops of Warwick taking on the blue and red of Northampton. It's a bit of a breezy day, but plenty have come out to watch this match. Independent school versus state school. Northampton will be licking their lips at trying to take on this uh, strong historical Warwick contingent. There's always a bit of an edge whenever whenever a state school comes up against a private school and especially with them being kind of fairly close to each other um, and strong traditions of playing one another. This could be uh, an absolute tasty delight for you on a Sunday afternoon, so enjoy. Well, get your roast in the oven and set it to finish at around about half past four because the next couple of hours are all about Northampton and Warwick. Your referee for today's proceedings, Peter Court. And it will be Ethan Grayson getting things underway. Bit of a skewed kick from his right boot and Warwick. Bing it back down his throat. 
Grayson hits a hard right shoulder of Borman. That just goes to show Warwick's intent. It'd be really hard not to be fired up for a game like this with a huge crowd. The Warwick, Warwick contingent already going mental. Pooney with a lovely outside arc from 13 for Northampton. Managed to make some 10 metres, but the referee has uh, called it back. Could be a sign of things to come. Uh, Northampton looking for some brute force and, and direct running straight away, but the, the Warwick defence looks uh, pretty well oiled and pretty determined early on in the game. Uh, let's hope it, it can maintain that throughout the rest of the match. Pooney with a nice break, but uh, knocked it on in the contact, unfortunately. So Warwick will have the scrub just inside their own half on the 15 metre channel. First chance to see Jack Aston at scrum half, but he's going to have to wait a few more moments. Reset scrum. Quite a psychological battle, battle this, this first scrum. I know both coaches will always put a bit of emphasis uh, on that first scrum, and if you can get a, an advantage on your opponent. Captain for Northampton School for Boys today, it's Callum Burns at hooker. He'll be trying to put some pressure on his opposite man, Cameron Dunn. Good shove from both sides. Looping pass, just caught by Treasure. Pretty easily dealt with there by the Northampton defence. Just shepherded them out to the wings. Warwick trying to roll that back. Looked as if it might have been spilled forward, but it was a good take from Hales. And it was indeed lost forward in the end. Huge cheers from the home supporters. You can add a real, real advantage there, having a huge crowd behind you. Uh, adversely as well, if Warwick get on top and get that quiet, crowd quiet, uh, that'll do a job. Uh, but it makes a huge difference. What an experience playing in front of this many people um, at this age group. It's one to be remembered and cherished. There's some big boys out there, isn't there, Philly? Even the scrum half set. Towering in height. Let's see what uh, Northampton have got on their own scrum here. Charlie Johnson with the put in. Off the back from right. Pick out in the midfield. He's ball. Ball going. Beats the pass out wide to Pooney. It's picked up loose by Jed Jenkins. Jed Jenkins. Inching his way over. there what a try what a start Northampton that will really get this crowd behind them well that came from almost nothing Ethan Wright from the base of the scrum found Josh Ball and his loose pass was picked up by Jed Jenkins yes yeah, so absolutely lovely line break there um, by Ball just thought the pass just unlucky not to go to hand there but it's obviously gone backwards clean pick up in the hands by the 15, does really well to fight. And obviously there, just again, another loose ball and capitalised there and Northampton get the early points on the board. Well, how intelligent was that for Jed Jenkins as he was about to be nudged into touch, dotted the ball back in field and it was well picked up by Northampton to open the scoring in this game. In so, inside four minutes and uh, it will be Jed Jenkins who goes for the conversion yeah these these kicks will you know be really vital uh, we saw yesterday the importance of of, of taking your, your, your points at, uh, points at goal and slotting your conversion so be really important well he's uh, pulled that one slightly towards the near post Northampton lead five points to nil. Just the start they were after as well. And Warwick have yet to get out of their own half. A couple of uh, knock-ons in this game already. Because Smith sends that one high. Great catch that under ferocious line speed there from Warwick. See if Northampton can put some phases together again here and use their big strong runners to try and punch holes again in that Warwick line. It looks like the sensible option. And Grayson sends that one up 
no real pressure from the chasers, and it's uh, been picked up by Motherly. Aston finds a bit of space, dinks it over the defensive line. Jenkins almost made a meal of that, but finally gets the clearance kick away. Solid touch finder that from Jenkins. Right decision. Good little box kick there from the uh, the, the um, Warwick Nine Aston. Um, could be a bit of a live wire today, looking for that space. But this could be a real key battle for both teams. Set piece is always so important uh, to give you that platform. Uh, they've got some big guys in both teams, uh, some strong jumpers. Um, but if you get this platform right for the day, then it could really cause havoc for the rest of the game. Well, it's a, a windy day, so we may not see too many go to the back of the line out. Cameron done for Warwick. First chance to see what he can do. That's a nice one off the top, nice and quick. Picks his mark. Crashed into the midfield by Spencer. Mentioned him at the start of this game. Strong defence there from Northampton. Looks like they've just nicked that ball as well. A loose ball, but Warwick have got the penalty. No and a chance for them to capitalise on this field position. Six tackler assists never released. So tackler not releasing there. Uh, five margins there, and obviously in for the jackal, so it could have gone either way. Um, but this is an interesting decision. Uh, obviously a pretty windy day. Um, looking to try and put the pressure on that last line out from Warwick was very well worked. Um, let's see what they've got a bit closer to the line. That's a good nudge by Finn Smith. Nice captain today for Warwick. They will. Uh, have another chance to set up a platform inside the Northampton 22. The first time they've got into this red zone. Done. This time picks out Lay. Here comes the driving ball from Warwick. They've got the momentum. Northampton trying to slow this one down. I think they've got the advantage. In the ascendancy, Warwick there, that was an excellently worked ball. Obviously no clear view of whether that was a try or not. Um, but a really good shift there from, from Warwick. Looked to set up at the front and obviously just shift it to the side there uh, to try and counter out the counter, uh, the counter uh, drive from Northampton. You can just see here, fighting to get that ball back, looking like a Northampton hand on it. They were way over the white box there, weren't they? I don't think the referee had a clear view at all as to whether or not ball was grounded, so Warwick with the scrub. Five metres out. Over towards that far touch line. Great platform, great place to try and strike from this. Could see Captain Banfield with a pick from the base. Aston. As the ball goes wide, they have space on this right wing. Treasure going for the score. Warwick straight back in this. Send, send the Warwick fans into absolute raptures, raptures down below us. Well, it's an interesting setup for the supporters today because you've got all the Warwick supporters on this near touchline and the Northampton School for Boys supporters on the far. And there's a lot of cheering going back and forth as uh, we take a look at this try again. And it's Smith with a long looping pass off his left hand. Treasure had to check himself. But he cashed in over in the right-hand yeah, corner. Left you can't underestimate the quality of that pass um, in the conditions like it is today. That you know that was something special off the left hand. Uh, the winger in acres of space, uh, treasure, Thank absolutely you. wants a treasure of him uh, in front of the cameras in a big occasion like this. And again, the kick here so important. Five margins can be the difference between a day out of Twickenham or a day in the exam hall. Well, Finn Smith, uh, big pick for. England under 18s against Scotland next weekend. Also part of the Worcester Academy. Showing his class already in this game. But what can he do off the tee? Well, he struck that with some finesse. And Roy, take the lead. Just the remedy Warwick needed. Back and forth. 
had some possession there, strong maul, looks like that could be a real good weapon for them today. And the quality of uh, fly half Smith, fizzing passes off his hands like that, both sides could be a real threat and they'll need to keep their eye on him for the rest of the game. Ethan Grayson gets the game going once more. Carries back. Smith, ball on five, sets to clear their lines. It looks as if that might have hung up in the wind a little bit. The bounce has gone wayward. And uh, Grayson tries to keep it in field. Might have just been hoping your uh, fullback would have run onto that, but it's never easy. That was a well judged kick there. Absolutely, and the intensity's just gone up a notch there by uh, Warwick striking back quickly. Got their fans going on the sideline here. They're, they're well known for bringing the noise, and a very strong Northampton crowd out today to, to see their boys over the line. A good position for them to attack from. Plenty of field position. Good scrum from Northampton, though. Quality of Smith's pass again. Look at that. They can put some real width on this. Spencer picks out Treasure and it's gone all the way to the left wing through Borman. Loose ball picked up once more by Treasure, the try scorer, but uh, unfortunately that's gone forward into the forward pass at five metres or so earlier than that as well. Yeah, again, I'm able to put some real width on that ball and look like a threat, but fair play to the Northampton defence. Just drifting out there and dealing with the threat and enforcing that turnover. Well, despite the uh, first few minutes of this game, being all about Northampton, Warwick have really started to build some pressure. And Northampton are going to have to try and clear their lines from inside their 22. Picks out Bull. We've already seen him with a rampaging run in this game. Leave it now, you two. really hard to get over that game line. He might have just got himself into a compromising position there. But it looks like the, again, tackler not releasing. And Northampton have the penalty. Seven wide. And then might be appropriate time. Bull looks like he could be a real threat, carrying really hardly in the first couple of minutes here to get make that line break. And then they'll be using him as a strike runner. Another one to keep your eye out for the day. That's a good, and again, another good touch finder. First look at the Northampton line out today. Not just uh, a penalty. And Ethan Grace, an interesting uh, player. His twin brothers on the left wing, Joel. Dad was down at Twickenham for five live yesterday. Third most point scorer for England ever, so it comes from good crop. Callum Burns, the captain with his first line-out ball today. Picks out Emke Atuanya. Huge hit coming on and it oh, looks as if Spencer stole that one as well. Ripped by White from forward. Ripped well, that says that's gone forward. forward off a of Warwick shirt. Fine margins there, that was a good line out off the top from Northampton. The pull back there and the, the Warwick defence has read that perfectly and given a good almighty thump there. Harry Spencer, technically a superb hit and almost managed to rip it out as well. You can see why some of the Warwick fans, might have players, a little perplexed there. Bit of an advantage could have come. Another scrum then for Northampton. They've got a lot of muscle. Their second rows, Heslop and Atuanya, absolute giants. And they look like they're pretty agile as well. Break from Johnson, Charlie Johnson. Coming an electric turn of pace. Northampton still trying to crawl forward as 
Captain Burns has a go himself. Flash pass into the paws of Lachlan Brown. Brown still going forward. Making good ground here, Northampton, using those big ball carriers to bust the line. And then relying on the passing of Grayson to pick gaps in the defence. Lovely. Johnson picks out his number eight, Ethan Wright. Just need to be patient here. Try and commit a few more of the Warwick defenders. Grayson tries to loop a pass into the hands of Fahi, but it's uh, been knocked forward. Spencer thought he might have just been away there. Yeah, it's, you know, we're, we're really lucky with a couple of really good fly arse on display today. Um, but again, Crikey, if that had gone to hand, he could have been home and hosed. But yeah, the, the, the quality of the, the fly halves on display today are, are there for them all to see. Worcester, Northampton. Yeah, we see a couple of turnovers from each team. Tackle at Warwick School, their tackling has been ferocious. They've really kind of muscled in defence and uh, fronted up to this big Northampton pack. They've got a lot of power, haven't they, Northampton? Just like uh, the Northampton Saints are so often famed for. Proud rugby town. Which improves with this school bit in existence since 1541. What a moment it would be if they could make their way to Twickenham. Here comes Ball. We've already mentioned Ball. Rampaging through. Goes past another. Can he get the offload away just short of the line? It's still on for Northampton. This time, Pooney gets sent backwards just slightly by Warwick. That's all, Anya. Has a go. Johnson trying to get this one away quickly. Trying to spin away, but a good tackle by Borman for Warwick. This this Warwick defence is ferocious. They've knocked them back time and time again. Johnson finds another forward pot. It's the captain Burns this time. Doesn't find any space. Again, just got to be patient here. Can they commit a few more? Referee's called a pause to the game. Penalty for offside. Interesting decision to be made here. One of those games looks like they are going to take the points. Absolutely good, smart idea. As we saw yesterday, just keeping in front or in the game as long as possible is going to be so important. But again, a nicely worked move here using that 12 ball. Absolutely really great line break there. Nearly made it through, looking for some support. But again, you can't fault the Warwick defence there. Um, they put in some thumping hits in over the ball, slowing it down here nicely. Well, that was exactly the same move off the scrum that they did to open their try scoring account today. Is Jed Jenkins slots that one through. Ball just needed to look to his right because Grayson was on his own. The pass was there and the try was there. Uh, on the cards but Northampton are back in front Jenkins with the penalty real thrilling kind of end-to-end -end game this so far anything to go by can't expect a, a Warwick strike back here hopefully we've got to be honest as well these aren't the most perfect rugby conditions in the world are they it's Maybe just where we're standing, but it is icy cold out there. The wind is really blowing. Pitch nice and soggy as well. Lots of rain over the past few days. Never quite, never that easy. I'm having a bit of a chat with some of the uh, Northampton staff earlier on, and they mentioned that this pitch hasn't been played or trained on for three weeks. So it is in fine fettle, considering the conditions we've had. It's a good kick there from Grayson. Managing this game really nicely, just what the team needed there. Release some pressure inside this 22, finding touch there. It's, uh, of course, a game which so much rests on a place in the RFU Under-18 Cup final at Twickenham on Thursday, the 19th of March. Huge moment for both of these schools. Warwick are looking to get back there and take the title which they missed out on 12 months ago. Just made a little bit of a mess there, Northampton front man, front jumper. 
And this little knock on there. Give Warwick another chance. Yeah, both sides, like I mentioned, have got pretty good pedigree in this competition before. Warwick seemed to gear everything towards the the, uh, the National Cup, and they've been there, done that, got the T-shirt a couple of times. Um, like you said, they missed out last year. Uh, Northampton, again, uh, finalist a few years back in 2013. Um, like I said, they're under 15s, they're in the National Vars this year, so I'm sure the school here would be massively keen to try and make it a, a double here for their under 18s and 15s. Well, it is Warwick with the foot in, in the scrum. Jack Aston with the feet. Around the back to Finn Smith. Finn Smith tries to bosh off Arjun Pooney. Bit of space Into outside, pass, yeah. but uh, it's gone forward. So it will be a scrub to Northampton. Warwick showing good intent there, though, trying to move the ball wide. A few Nine. dummy runners, Link Nine. plays around the back. It's a really nice, almost a really picture perfect pass there from the number five, uh, Will Pugh. Um, just drifted forward, and otherwise he would have been in acres of space. But it's the nature of this game, it's been a bit stop start, um, lots of knock ons. Tensions running high, nerves could be up there. Remember, these are schoolboys, and for some of them, this will be the kind of biggest game they'll ever play in. So, managing your nerves, uh, your anxieties, and arousal are going to be really important here. Johnson. Right, gets it again. Looks as if they were going to go for that 8, 9, 12 carry, but it's been lost forward. Finn Smith in a close quarters looks as if he was teeing up the kick. Yeah, no advantage, you are held there. The referee have paid advantage, so they're going to come back for the first penalty. Hey, lads, lads, you don't need it. And you could just see every time Captain, when I blow the whistle, the they get a scrum, Northampton yeah, are lining up for that 8, 9, 12 the phase play. Yeah, it's worked a good effect, but obviously if you overuse things, I'm sure uh, the, the, the quality of the, the Warwick defence, you know, they'll become aware to that. So you do need to have a bit of variety in your team, um, try something a bit different. Uh, just looks like these conditions have got a little bit worse as the rain starts to come in from our, from our position here. Yeah, big grey cloud coming in from the west. Here comes Banfield, the captain, back to Aston. Aston with the uh, little dink into the corner, and that is a lovely, lovely touch from Jack Aston. Known to his teammates as Beaky, he's put them in a really positive position on the field here. Yeah, lovely, smart little uh, chip in behind there. Penn Northampton right back on their five metre line. Looks like they'll try and put some pressure on this line out and try and pick off some scraps, see if they can get themselves a, a, an opportunist try. Well, it's a pressure cooker moment for Northampton. A line out on their own five. It's gone over the top, overthrown, but it's been picked up nicely in the end by Brown. Probably worked out better than Northampton would have expected. Here goes Hesler. Dangerous place to be playing. Expansive rugby there with so much on the line. There you go. Just that offload wasn't needed. This is probably just what Warwick were after with that little kick in behind from the scrum half. And now they've got the, op the option for three points bang in front. Well, Warwick were trying to feed off scraps there. The line out from Northampton at first point wasn't accurate. It almost worked out well for them, but Pooney just getting caught on the floor. And I think that was Harry Spencer, the Warwick school outside centre, causing all sorts of trouble for his opposite number at the breakdown. Yeah, got himself into a really strong position there and now should allow his, uh, his fly half Smith to add three points. Just interestingly, it's interesting to see how the coaches utilise their substitutes here. Obviously, all, all players in the squad have to have had a leap so half as uh, some schools in, in pr uh, uh, other competitions have found out the hard way. And give us your view on that and how that's been for, for Merchant Taylors this year because obviously it's so important to make sure everybody gets 
the half and uh, how has it been and how have you learned how to deal with that throughout your games this season? I don't think it's too different to how most okay, teachers would time. look to play um, play their players. Um, certainly from not from my perspective, I've always looked to try and, and, and uh, use that. Um, I think it's quite nice um, that now we have to kind of enforce it and obviously what's the bigger picture for some schools and trying to engage and keep their rugby players playing. That's, that's the best way by giving them game time. So it um, was an interesting uh, dispute in uh, one of the other competitions, um, but ultimately uh, for the right decision. Well, successful conversion, or penalty rather, for Finn Smith. Keeping his uh, account ticking over for today. Warwick back in front. As Grayson gets things going once more. Huge kick chase and hit going in from Northampton as they come down the right wing. It's Grayson. Here comes Atoanya. Another forward carry from Northampton. This is just what you want as the lead is taken from your grasp. Straight back into the heart of Warwick. Johnson picks out Grayson, who tries to go on his own, finds a blue and white shirt. Blue and white wall, they've been excellent again. They've driven them back from their five metre line, just to inside the 22. Luke Bond trying to step his way through. Great footwork from the prop forward. Johnson having some trouble to get that ball away. He's electric if he can find a gap. Doesn't quite get around the fringes this time. Warwick finally slowing this one down. Pick and go looks like a slightly more suitable option. Try and really bring in those defenders tight. And then see if he can use the quality of Grayson's pass. Ethan Wright almost found a gap. And it's been knocked off by Lachlan Brown. The pass from Johnson just not accurate enough at this stage of the game. Ten minutes to go until half time. Again, massive kudos to, to the Warwick defence there. You know, they aren't getting over this line easily. Northampton trying to use their strong ball carriers kind of just outside the fringes of the ruck, and it's, it's become so hard because the Warwick defence have been able to read that. And they've just been absolutely ferocious, making really dominant tackles, knocking the Northampton boys back. They were certainly on the back foot, weren't they, there, Warwick, and did really well to turn that round and take some control of the defence. They have got a scrum for their efforts. Eight metres out in front of their own posts. Aston can face some pressure here. Finn Smith puts boot to ball. The wind just blowing that back in. As Jed Jenkins lets the ball bounce. Pitch kick tries to go off his left foot. Well tackled by Ethan Evan Cook. Long time with his hands on the ball there, number 15. Shows these conditions aren't easy for that high ball. And then the Warwick fly half has used that to his advantage there. And they've got the off accident the offside there. Grayson thinking one play ahead there. The pass from Johnson once again just a little bit too low for his fly half. He's having a look at Smith in the warm up and he was practicing his kicking from well. Uh, well in, in advance of the halfway line and he's done really well here and he's obviously got the wind behind him. So this is usually on the limit for most schoolboy kickers, but it is bang in front. But again, this would just it's give Warwick that little bit of breathing room heading into the half time. Similar sort of distance to the match winning score at Sherbourne and Whitgift yesterday. Finn Smith, well, we've already talked about his credentials next weekend, hopefully donning an England shirt. 100% success rate so far in this game, one conversion, one penalty. What can he do from 47 metres out? Like it's got the legs. What a kick! Just what Warwick need. Again, a, an area of strength camped in the 22 from Northampton. And they've come all the way down the other end of the pitch, and Warwick have capitalised to take the lead 13 8 into half time. 
Well, he's absolutely rocketed that through the uprights and he had, what, 15 metres spare? That is a huge kick at this level. And Warwick extend their lead. 13 points to Northampton's eight and the home side where they've got a bit of work to do before half time. The value of a, a, a good goal kicker at schoolboy level is just it's just unsurmountable. It's so important and as, as uh, Smith showed there, you know, it's just going to put you into such good positions. You're a threat from anywhere out. Excellent take under the high ball for Warwick. They know they're under pressure. We saw what happened last time, but it's been stolen. Northampton once again with a kick chase which puts the pressure on. Here comes Bond. Lovely little off right there. Their front five working well in close quarters. Grayson with a dink over the top, trying to put pressure on. No advantage. And both five Cook White. and Treasure catch that simultaneously for Warwick. And the referee's bringing this back five for the White. earlier advantage. Oh, a bit of back chat by the looks of things. Feeling the pressure a little bit there. Well, what do you do if you're Northampton here? Post. Go for the post. Shot. This is the uh, initial break from the captain, Callum Burns. Look at that, out the back door, Sonny Billy, your heart out. Uh, absolutely, I'd be taking the points here. You've got a whole other half of, half of rugby to play. Stay in the game for as long as possible. Stay in touching distance of the winning team, or the, the team in, in advance at the moment. And this is a pretty relatively easy, or should be a pretty relatively easy kick. Jed Jenkins, uh, one from two so far in this game, got the penalty to put them back in front earlier on. It's a relatively simple conversion compared to his first. And he slotted that nicely. Northampton closed the gap once more. 11-13 with just over five minutes left to go in this half. In a hell of a back and forth game. Every time one team gets ahead, the other team strikes back. It's a real sign of a good cup tie, that. It just goes to show with the Northampton side, strong and resolute. They've got five old boys playing for the Saints seniors at the moment. Courtney Laws, Tom Collins, who was here today, James Grayson and Holly Slater as well. So good credentials from this school trying not to get overturned by Warwick on their home patch at the moment. The pass just too firm. High shot there. Both sides now just probably have to just keep an eye on the half here. Got four minutes until half time. Just need to make sure that they don't go in any more than two points down at the moment, Northampton. Warwick, they don't want to be giving them anything for Northampton to be feeding upon. Grayson. Smashes that into the floodlight post here. And we'll have a line out just inside their own half on the far touch line. Grayson, of course, uh, part of the Saints player development group. And, uh, the, the head coach is here, Phil Beaumont, believing that well, next year you might see Ethan Grayson and James Grayson in a partnership at Northampton Saints at their senior side. Watch this space. Yes, a, a fine pedigree of. Uh, X players here as Warwick nick that line out. Really well read there. And now they're threatening an attack in, on the counter. Here come Spencer. Spencer, he's got the skills. On his inside is Smith. Can Smith go all the way? Another off line coming in. Fantastic. And that is Aston with the score for Warwick. Hammer blow for Northampton from their line out. And the counter there has just been absolutely supremely taken on. Line break there from 13. Harry Spencer, Mercurial for Warwick. Great support lines by Finn Smith and it was his half-back partner Jack Aston that came in with the score. Stolen off the top of the line out. They used the width, just the handling to get the ball out wide. Lovely show and go from Spencer. Great play, this little offload there to finish it off. Really good hands. And as I was just saying, you just want to close the game out, close that half out and give yourself a bit of breathing space when you're just behind. And obviously an ambitious throw to the back there from Northampton now means that going in seven points uh, down at half time. Now they desperately need that half time just to regather, get their heads down. Yep, and think about what's going on next. Well, if you thought yesterday's game was good, this is on another level so far in the first half. 
Jack Aston, aka Beaky, with the score. And Smith with the conversion. Warwick extend their lead. And the Warwick fans are finding their voice. Good contingent, all in their tweed jackets and caps today. The Warwick coach pacing up and down the touchline. He knows that that's an important you, score just before the half. Well, what have Northampton got to do here, Phil? Because at the moment, the power and pace of Warwick is just beginning to show. They come under a lot of pressure. Under the high ball, they've uh, got the penalty though. I think uh, he was just taken out in the air. I think Northampton are going to just have to think about their plan in attack. It's been pretty one dimensional so far. They look to have a good fly half, and I think they've just got to manage the uh, the territory a little better. I think if they'd have played the, uh, you know, in important parts of, parts of the pitch, probably, probably not try to be uh, too flash and. You know, look at where they were when they turned that ball over for the line out there on the their own 10 metre line, and they went for a throw to the back. Um, so yeah, some food for thought. Maybe a bit of a variety in their attack and exploit their um, their top quality 10 in uh, in Grayson. Into the final minute of this half, Warwick lined up here with a few forwards off their first receiver. Looking to mix it up in the back line. Not quite found its mark, and uh, Ethan Wright has pounced on that for Northampton. Timely for them. Tom Ball with the charge, supported by Luke Bond. Still going forward. Grayson tries to pick out Heslop, and that's gone. Forward. And that is half time. Well, a fierce first half from both sides, but it is Warwick who lead at the break. A place in the RFU Under-18 Schools Cup final at Twickenham on the cards for the winner. Half-time scores then, Northampton School for Boys, 11. Warwick School, 20. And Phil, we've uh, seen some special moments, but it's been... Warwick, who have taken this game by the scruff of the neck at half-time. Absolutely. Um, for me, built on a rock-solid defence, given nothing for Northampton to try and uh, to try and batter down. A um, little bit of experience on display from Warwick as well, obviously, and some of these boys would have played in their final last year against Whitgift. That counts for a lot at this age group. Um, but the game has been a right old back-and-forth battle. It always seems to be that as soon as one team almost gets in the ascendancy, slots a penalty, the other team goes right back down the other end. Um, and it's a real ding-dong back and forth. And as we saw yesterday, um, being up at half-time means very little um, at schoolboy level. Well, let's take a look at the highlights because there were some great moments. And it was uh, Northampton who used the home advantage and the crowd in this first three minutes, this 8-9-12 axis with Bull making a great break. And, and that was there was a dream start for Northampton because that was really early on. And get that crowd behind them. And then obviously Warwick bounced back and, and back and forth, as has been the game. And it was Ethan Grayson with the support to get that opening try. Almost a carbon copy on the move there. Well, it's the same try, beg your pardon. But one of their later attempts, almost a carbon copy. They worked that 8-9-12. Uh, well, but like I said, a bit more variety as uh, the Warwick defence does seem really hard to breach. Um, they will need just a little bit more to try and outfox them. And this was uh, Warwick's response. A lovely set piece move, looping pass from Smith out into the hands of James Treasure, the right wing going over in the corner. And a lot of the work and the good work in this game has come from a strong scrum. This try. Exactly that. Well, that put Warwick in front with the conversion. Seven points to five. 
And there you go. That's just that, that nick line out right at the back and the quality of the Warwick backs in, in counter, identifying that space. Did him with the dummy on the inside. That was an excellent piece of play. And it's your man here, number nine, uh, uh, Beaky, <laughs> Beaky Aston, who went over. Great support line there from the nine. Um, but just again, well read here from the Warwick number eight and Captain Banfield um, to, to nick that at the line out. And that is good play there from Warwick. He's picking the gaps there, dummy on the inside. Well, that's what happens when you've got an attacking line that suddenly has to turn into defence. There's sometimes that dog leg. Warwick were flat. They managed to get the ball wide as quick as possible. And Spencer, with the show and go, just exploited that gap. And it was great support from both Smith and Aston. And Northampton, school for boys, with a real chance to make this final. But they've got a lot of work to do. Nine points down at half time. The last time. Uh, in 2013, they made the RFU Cup. They beat Warwick at Broad Street Rugby Club in the semi-final. Lost to Dulwich that year. So a chance for them to replicate here today on their home patch. These are these are the stats. Well, look at Warwick. It's 42 tackles made compared to Northampton seven. What stat does that tell you? Yeah, I'm um, yeah ferocious, and uh, you know Warwick have had to force the force the, uh, the the mistakes there and they, they really seem to have pounced on them there um, and they you know, haven't had much of the ball um, and Northampton doing you know just just enough to stay in this game in my opinion um, but again his scrum foundation there line out percentage there as well uh, you're good uh, your set piece is so important for your platform um, and if you get that ticking over and firing um, then it gives you a really good opportunity to, to set up an attack but uh yeah, I mean, this game is not over by any stretch of the imagination. As yesterday showed, I think, you know, from watching Northampton, they've got enough. They've got plenty in attack. Um, they've got some good size. And as you can see, they've had a lot of the ball. Uh, they just need to make it count a little bit more in the second half. Well, today's live stream of this RFU Under-18 Schools Cup is brought to you by glutendetect.co.uk. The second half about to get underway. A change of ends, Warwick going from right to left in their distinctive blue and white hoop shirts. Make sure you're 12 and 13 are aware. So obviously the benches will have just been brought into play here. Everyone having to get on. A couple of changes in the row for Warwick. Alex Bakatau and Max Plum coming on, bringing on the bruisers. It's a pretty great kick, just what Warwick needed, just what Northampton didn't at the start of this half. Josh Simango with a charging run. Bit of a show and go from Mobley, trying to find some space. As the sun begins to beam down on us here in Looks Northampton. Like might have just held this up. Good tackle, they can stop it and get it down. Great charge. There you go. But Warwick penalised and cheers from the home supporters here. Using that choke tackle to good effect there. Using their superior strength and uh, size advantage there and nullifying that Warwick attack. Um, means obviously now they've got the scrum. To see if they can kind of use their field position a bit better here in this second half uh, and give them a go at getting back in this game. Well, it just goes to show the intent, doesn't it? Straight from the kickoff. Well secured by Will Pugh. Reset scrum coming in. The uh, putting of the pitch, perhaps uh, just getting stuck on some of those studs. Warwick faithful, up to their old tricks. Getting right behind their side makes a huge difference. Let's see if the Northampton players can snap their support into life. Good scrum. Here comes Ball. Ball charging through once again. 
tackle coming in from Aston. He certainly has been a threat all day, uh, Bull. Really strong line, strong carry there and getting them over the game line. He's so direct, isn't he? Difficult to defend as uh, Warwick have numbers if they can get it into the space. Spencer picks up the uh, almost loose ball. Around the back goes Smith. Northampton putting the pressure on. Some space if they can find out. Here goes Ethan Evan Cook. High tackle there. Just caught him on the chin. Red one, high tackle. Purely accidental. Just got his timing a little bit wrong there. As is the law. The penalty given away. Nothing malicious about that. It's nice to have a bit of sun beaming down on us here. Smith's kick doesn't quite find touch. Jenkins pings that one back inside to Grayson, who sends this long. Dealt with well there. Motley did very well under the high ball into the wing. Smith sends it straight back at them. Aerial ping pong now as Ethan Evan Cook has to track back. Puts boot to ball himself, and finally that's got into touch. Nice kick, bounces just inside his own half. Yeah, for me, not slightly smarter that from Northampton. Yeah, just giving nothing for uh, for, for Warwick to capitalise on, uh, giving themselves good field position here. Um, the wind uh, that, that Warwick are defending at the moment is quite difficult for your, your, your full backs and your wingers to contend with. So um, that aerial kick will be quite advantageous in the second half. That's a haircut and a half as well from the, the Northampton captain. Shades of Samson Lee from Wales. Burns with a throw in. Sacked good. Great well catch. Back there. Yeah, but well sacked indeed by Warwick. Charging run from Lachlan Brown. Change at scrum half for Northampton. No right! Declan Neeshaw at 21 for them. Northampton trying to find some space over the far side of the pitch is a big crash comes in from Fakatu. It's a hell of a kick that from, from Grayson, but coolly dealt with no it there by Mobley. They had the advantage, so the free ball there. Just got a sense of how strong the wind was there because the ball didn't half hang. Interesting decision to be made here. Looks fairly central this kick. Don't know if he's signalled already to go for the posts. Grayson opting to go for the corner. They're going for the jugular. Nine points behind. 11-20, the current score line here at Northampton School for Boys. Be interesting to see if Northampton have, have learnt from that previous line out where the Warwick uh, defence did really well to sack um, the start of that mall. Um, have to try and keep that up. They might be in luck here. And a word on the crowds here because there are hundreds and hundreds of people surrounding this first team pitch here. And it's great to see on a Sunday afternoon so many people supporting schoolboy rugby. Of course, the well, the prize. If the win, it's a place in the final on the 19th of March at Twickenham. Wonder if there might be a few missed homeworks tomorrow morning. Sack and if they have an excuse there, looks like they might just sack that again, Warwick. They're reading the line outs really well, aren't they? Aren't they? Just taking any pressure off they can. Carry this time, coming in from Hudson. And we've seen Northampton in this position before. And again, it's the same result. They're being taken back by the ferocious defence of Warwick. Looks like they might have just lapped someone on there. Trying to go forward through Brown. He managed to wiggle his way through. Not much space around the fringes at the moment for Northampton. Warwick throwing the bodies in. Nishaw taking them blind. Might have a bit of space here. And Northampton's going to go in. They need it. They're back in the game, Northampton. Well, it's one try each for the Grayson Twins as Joel goes over in the left-hand corner. A 
and that's better from Northampton, making those those territorial gains really count that pressure, the continual pressure with their forwards and then zipping it out wide to the elusive Grayson on the wing to dot over and get Northampton right back in this game. Well, the sun is certainly shining down on Northampton in this second half. And a simple dot over the line for Joel Grayson. Top try scorer at St. Sevens with 18 tries in the tournament this year. He said he had an eye for the whitewash. Made no doubt about it there. Chance for Jed Jenkins to close the gap off the tee. And true to form of the game, Northampton have scored. So I wonder what might happen next. Real back and forth, I've said that before. And this is a real pressure kick here for Jenkins. the win to contend with. Well, he's got the height and he's got the length, but he's just pushed it wide. Game on. That's Northampton crowd. You can hear them a bit more now. Northampton have reduced the deficit. And they trail 16 points to Warwick School's 20. Still plenty of life left in this game. 26 and a half minutes to go. Smith gets some height on that one. Tapped back by Warwick. Oh, 16, it's through. Level on in the front row for Northampton. It's got them a light ball, skipping through a tackle. Manages to get the ball wide, it's still live with Northampton. Jenkins picking up the loose pass. Around the back is Grayson, finds Hudson. Lovely stuff from Northampton. Oh, killer. Oh, they were in such a good position and just a small knock on there. They did really well, that was a huge hanging kick off there. Hold up in the wind. And it was the replacement prop, Archie. McCusker, he made a little breakthrough, kept that ball alive, and that man Bull again, eating up the ground and putting Northampton into a good position and unfortunately just knocking on at the base of the, the ruck there. Hudson with the carry, he well to sort of pick it off his left hip. Okay, let's find up, stop. Oh, okay. Time's off. Replay maybe looking a little bit suspect with the knock on. It was great from the restart from Warwick though. They did manage to tap it back, there was just nobody there to collect it. Yeah, and again, you know, that was an excellent, excellent kickoff. Hung up in the wind. Um, but Northampton pouncing on that space, finding it quickly, shipping it out wide. And again, the man bull rampaging through the defence and doing really well. And unfortunately, He's down at the moment. He's obviously having some uh, strapping applied to his knee. Let's hope he can carry on through. Well, this just goes to show the number of supporters here at Northampton. Sawani so Tongawir, one of the coaching staff here. He'd have been a handy schoolboy player in his day. He's all right, just take that. Yeah. Oh, we were speaking to some of the coaches here earlier, and he's uh, Got a son here at the school, so in a few years we'll certainly see him at this level. Apparently already six foot two. Might be able to see him now in the crowd. <laughs> okay, twelve. Eighteen in the scrum. The stream brought to you today by glutendetect.co.uk. Oh, yeah. And that man, talisman for Northampton at the moment, ball back on his feet. Good to see. And you hope that he can spark into life and drag Northampton back into this game. This stream also brought to you today by Alive. Tailored vitamins made bespoke to you with the highest quality hey, vegan stopping. friendly ingredients. Nothing more, nothing less. Just exactly what you need. Very well delivered. And exactly what Northampton need right now is five points to get back in front. I wonder if Coach Tonga is a, a vegan. If he is, that's a great advertisement for the vegan campaign. Well, 
here's the current stats two tries apiece Warwick with substantially more tackles than the stats today brought to you by iSports Analysis an incredible job and that line out one percentage just goes to show how Northampton are perhaps struggling at the line out Warwick putting them with a bit of pressure and that one score they got just before half time really makes that stat telling just a, just a brief hold up in proceedings here as one of the Warwick players looks like you might have a bit of a bloody nose or something so that's what we're waiting for yeah, that's uh, Alex Fakatau getting a bit of treatment, part of the Worcester Academy. Handy man to have on your uh, on your finishers bench. Absolutely, and actually, as you now as the half game rule has, has come in, you've, coaches are going to have to be a little bit smarter about who they're bringing on and when, and uh, be, have to be really closely managed. As obviously, if you don't, and then there's any breach of that, uh, kind of could be thrown out of the competition, as we've seen. Crowds are up for this now. We've got a game on our hands here. Bit subdued, perhaps, from some of the supporters on the far touch line from Northampton. They know they've got a lot of work to do as Aston feeds the scrub. Northampton send them backwards. And Aston clears the line straight down the throat of Jed Jenkins. And Jed Jenkins has some pace. Lovely dink from him. Almost picked back up, Fakato has to turn and face the Northampton defensive wall. Huge box kick. Well swallowed by Grayson. Grayson trying to have a go himself, a little shuffle off the right boot. Backwards. Quite fine a gap around the fringes. Here comes his brother, Job. Joel Grayson, a try scorer. His right acts as link man, not for the first time in this game. Crunching tackle. Oh, felt that one up here. And now they're making a nuisance on the breakdown. Well, that was a huge hit coming in from Motherly. Northampton have numbers over on the far touchline. Trying to find some space as they're finally bundled into touch. Yeah, and they seem to have just changed their approach here. They've got a really nice loft loading game going on here, which is just allowing them to get in behind the Warwick defence. They're a forward pack, acting as link, man or player or pod. So often, Ethan Wright, Luke Bond, Callum Burns, all standing in that position, just allowing Grayson to get a bit more space behind the first attacking line. Just just like Carl Sinclair does for England, obviously just have them up, up, up front, engage a couple of defenders, looks like he might carry and just ships it out the back. Um, and then I think it was 17, found a really good line there just to try and get him in behind. Looks like one of the Northampton boys might have a bit of cramp, obviously giving it his all for this game. So busy. Getting through a lot of work today. Northampton beginning to look at a little bit better, a little bit more composed. Again, that, that bone shuddering tackle from, from Warwick. There have been a few of those knocking around today. Came from Will Mobley, their fullback as well. He's not the biggest man, but my word, what a crunchy hit that was. Just got the timing absolutely perfect there. I think it was Grayson on the, the other end of it. If you like rugby and you like rugby sevens, tune in to our very own Joe Burns with his Seventh Heaven podcast. Available now on all your regular podcast subscription services. Stolen. Well taken off the top by Northampton Grayson. Picks out Joel, his brother, on the inside line. Warwick. Clear penalty to there. Number 18 and then he's straight off his feet. Off his feet there. Yeah, they've done so illegally. And this could be a chance for Jenkins to close the gap. Right decision in my mind. Stay in this game. Give you, narrow that deficit down. And they're in the ascendancy here at the moment playing with the wind behind their back. As you can see, the man there just at the back, 
not supporting his own weight off his feet there. Um, quite a clear penalty. Just messy, wasn't it? Sloppy counter rucking from Warwick. Not the place you want to do it. Straight in front of the sticks and 25 metres out. It's a bit of a gift for Northampton, really. We've only played 13 minutes in this second half. Still a lot of life to go. 22 minutes to play. The winner of this game will face Whit Gift in the final at Twickenham. Just under two weeks' time. Jed Jenkins with the penalty attempt. Just pulled it. No. Well, that ball has gone all the way to the east coast because the wind was so strong behind him there. He managed to pull it. It was almost the wind was too strong and just gave it a push to the right. Just got his calculations wrong. Led off there for Warwick. Yeah, thanks, mate. But this, uh, this wind is pretty fierce now, and it's going to be pretty tricky to find their way out of it. Yeah, if you were a commentator standing on some scaffolding, this uh, probably might be a little bit risque in this wind. Huge. Sung that one up again. Huge kick. The tackle from uh, Pugh just not quite accurate enough. And the cheers of Warwick ring true around Northampton. George Patton. Now on for Northampton. The only year 11 in their side today. Ginormous for a year 11 as uh, Luke Bond hits a superb line. Grayson around the back again. Ethan Evan Cook dived in at just the right time to stop Bull in his tracks. Jenkins in at first receiver. Trying to put some spin into okay, this game for Northampton. Grayson tries to dink over the top, straight down the throat of Ethan Evan Cook, a little bit of a sloppy kick from him. Good Grayson. decision from Grayson there, they weren't really going anywhere. And he's just managed to give themselves a different edge there, but looks like that pass might have just got forward or a foot in touch. Well, not much happening there, was there? Time off the place. 20 wide pass from Grayson over to Jenkins. It was uh, Joel Grayson in the end on the left wing. Just, just a tiptoe in touch. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Guys, just hold him, just hold him. Let me get the numbers. Just hold the throw. Just listening yeah, to the coaches down below. I'm going to get their timing spot on for the rotation of their subs. It must be such a difficult thing to do. You don't want to be uh, a few minutes short, do you? You don't want to forget your gum shield. No. Great line out from Warwick under a lot of pressure over on that far touchline. Ethan Evan Cook now puts boot to ball. Nice grubber through. Joel Grayson under some pressure as he slides to pick that one up. Trying to skip through and find some space. Dealt with that really well. He's given his side a slightly better angle to work with there if they want to clear their lines. Smart play from Grayson there. Ethan Wright acted as carrier and linkman so many times today for Northampton. Grayson goes for the uh, low boot. It's Ethan Evan Cook feeds Smith. Smith tries to skip through himself. He's looked lively with the ball in hand, hasn't he, today, Finn Smith? Showing his quality throughout this game. Time, nice hit there by Ball. Time that, read the play really well. He's been everywhere. Absolutely everywhere in defence and attack for Northampton. Warwick okay. still got the ball here, though. Simango. No six! With the carry, needs some support. 
as Aston tries to get this one away. Lovely pass. Evan Cook just can't quite get there. And there might be some space over on that far touchline. Jed Jenkins with the grubber maybe just put boot to ball slightly too early there. Well covered by Finn Smith. Just a little slip, just had them under real pressure there, Northampton. Well, here comes the substitute, Elliot Tanner. Oh, happy night, Managed to happy. head back towards some support. Didn't want to expose himself too much there. Ethan Evan Cook can't quite get away from Maro Armada. And Northampton have the penalty. Side entry there from one of the Warwick players. And again, just that break down the outside. No, well judged yet. kick no, there no, from Jenkins. Um, putting it right deep into the 22 of Warwick. Um, and now they've got a decision to make. Um, I'd imagine they might pop this one into the corner given the angle. No replacement, please, yet. Not yet. Well, trailing by four points. 16 minutes left on the clock. 16 20, the scores on the board. I just saw one up on from White. Just look over on that far touchline. So many supporters. Again, another another rotation of the bench here, keeping your players fresh, hoping that people coming on now can have a real impact on this game. As uh, some of the kind of players who've been on for a while might just be tiring a little bit. This live stream today brought to you by glutendetect.co.uk, protecting those who shouldn't eat gluten. Oh, okay, yeah. Northampton will have the line out. Yeah, Warwick. Put a few rolling changes once more. Yeah. Samangos. No. Well, today so far. What's this? What's this second game? Josh Ball just running <laughs> over to Ethan Grayson to have a little bit of a word about how they play this. Okay. We've seen that 8, 9, 12 combo so frequently today. I suspect it's not the last time we'll see that. Maybe Ball just offering himself with a straight hard run off the line okay. This wholehearted approach, yeah, absolutely. Batting around and they put it in the corner. See Warwick deal with the driving ball by sacking at the front. Wonder if Northampton will have cottoned on yet, see if they can keep that support up, keep that up, so they can set up their uh, their more, sorry. Aim and just hold, aim and hold him. And this giant of a pupil, Atuanya, might just help things here as he returns to the field. The giant, isn't he, in that first half? Heart of everything for Northampton. The man with the monarch, Captain Callum Burns. Picks out right. Kept it up. Here comes the ball. They're charging over. It looks as if they might be in. And that is a try. Fantastic play. Crowd have gone into raptures. Northampton regained the lead. And it was the driving ball that got them over the line. They committed 14 men into that. Nothing was going to stop them in that bottom right-hand corner. And Jed Jenkins will have the opportunity to extend their lead. Yeah, smart play. Right decision to go for the mall. Did really well to keep it up. Shifted there, a point of attack there. And in the end, quite a straightforward drive through. 15 on me, 15. Just trying to see who's at the bottom of the pile there. This might help us a little bit. I think it would have been Tom Ball who got it in the end. Excellent work from Northampton, just what they needed. I've got 19 and a half gone. To the final quarter of this game. And this won't be an easy kick right in front of the, the yeah, Warwick fans as well, reminding me. him Good of all of his actions and taking this kick. Cut of in. In. This is for Jed Jenkins, but he slotted that one. The wind seemed to dissect the post as it went through. I think he took great pleasure in running past the Warwick fans on the way back after that went through. But 
What a cracking, another cracking game in these groups, uh, these semi-finals of the NatWest Cup here. This end-to-end -end game continues. Northampton School for Boys are back in the league. Once again, Smith sent that one high. Expertly taken by Max Plum. Spencer just trying to skip through. Aston looks for a carrier and finds Archie McCusker who's flattened backwards. Club once again, the man that collected it nicely from the restart. But some great defensive work from Northampton sent Warwick back 10 metres. They've really got their feathers up since that try in the corner just a few minutes ago. Got to be smart. This is type of position now. Northampton. No, no, we're give away any penalties. Well, they've flattened. Warwick a couple of times in the contact. Northampton doing really well defensively at the moment. Warwick get the penalty. Just what they'd have wanted. Just absolutely the opposite of what Northampton would have wanted there. Almost kind of the only option of them getting territory here would have been a penalty. Tap though. He's not expecting that. The wind almost catching that pass then. Spencer trying to get it away. Max Plum. Popping up once again, Ethan Evan Cook. Lovely offload back inside. Huge hit coming in from the captain, Callum Burns. The atmosphere really building here in Northampton as we approach the end of this game. And what a huge hit from George Hudson. That's what your team need at a moment like that. Wow. Pressure clutch moment there. A brilliant, brilliant hit from George Hudson. Again, just timed it, read that nicely. Got the legs there and just forced the knock on. Welcome relief there for Northampton. Well, they deserve that. Since they scored the try, it's been all defence and they've sent Warwick backwards continuously. Warwick. Well... 49 more tackles than Northampton so far in this game. Penalties all square at five apiece. Not a ridiculously high penalty count in this game, but there's been a few handling errors and knock-ons and wayward passes, hasn't there, Phil? Absolutely. That, that, is, that difference in tackle count is unbelievable considering that Northampton are ahead here as well. And it's a cracking game, really, this, this last 10 minutes could be absolute heartbreak or ecstasy for one of the two teams here. Yeah, I'm going come on that side for that, Will, yeah. Crunch! Well, reset scrum for Northampton. And Charlie Johnson. Leads Grayson. Grayson pings this one downfield. Great take. Well, Ethan Evan Cook looks to pin his ears back and go. Pass just getting caught in the wind and going backwards somewhat. Huge hit coming in from Almada. Ah, the penalty goes to Northampton. Such a such a hard foul. Not one of my favourite laws that one, but obviously knock on and the person in front of him picking it up for offside there. This is gifted Northampton an opportunity to extend their lead. Immediately, they were uh, pointing to the post. We'll be interested to see what they do here. Finn Smith giving the ball out to Spencer. <laughs> that was a great tackle coming in from Mara Armada. And they seem to have bagged it in the corner. Well, they know what they did last time. Got their tails up. Back in them all. We're into the final nine minutes of this game. And this perhaps where the home advantage pays off because the extra cheers, the extra motivation from the home supporters, what it would mean in Northampton if they could bundle this one over once more in front of the Warwick faithful here. 
on their home patch. Burns, the captain, picks out right once again. He's been sacked initially. Just came attached there, the mall. Warwick doing really well to sack that. And obviously just came detached, might have been off accidental offside. There we go, yeah. A bit of an obstruction from Northampton. Not intentional because they did manage to get a pod away from the back of that mall. Referees obviously deemed that to have just come away and become a separate separate pod, obviously, after the sacking. Um, interesting because they dealt with the, the last lineup really well in that sacking opportunity for Warwick. Scrum down, Warwick on their own five metre line. Just kept themselves in the game with that high pressure moment. Early push, red. Early push. Taken quickly by Jack Aston. He knows they've got a lot of work to do. Lovely flung pass from Finn Smith. Here comes the wheels. Great offload back inside to Cook. Cook tackled on his own 10 metre line. A quick 40 metre game for Warwick. Into the hands of Makuska in the midfield. Huge hit coming in from Atuanya. Into the hands of Tanner. Tanner gives it out to the big number six, Adam Lane. Adam Lane still charging forward. 65 metres now from Warwick as Aston tries to put the grubber through. Been knocked forward by Northampton. Got the advantage. Rigby with a carry. Northampton putting some pressure on in defence. Aston does well to get that one away. Smith into the hands of Makuska. The offload just going loose and Warwick have the penalty. Right, the opportunity this now for Warwick. What a passage of play that was to get out from under their own sticks there. This one, obviously, if they take this, draw the score. But they were under their own sticks there. Real high pressure moment. Look at where they've ended up. I mean, that is quite ballsy from the Warwick fly half there to lean one out 15 metres off the left hand again to find his winger. Great offload as well from Finn Smith. They made a good 70 metre gain, didn't they? In such a short amount of time. And Warwick, another gutsy option from them. They've gone for the scrub. 30 metres out. And they're going to go for the jugular. Flooded the far side of the pitch. They still have two numbers towards us here. Advantage. Penalty advantage there for Warwick. Has to dive on the loose ball there. It was a big scrum for Northampton. Finn Smith, what a lovely chip and catch. Tries to get the offload out the back. He should have looked to the left because they had two numbers. The referee brings it back for the earlier advantage though. Warwick will have the penalty once again. This time, they're going to go for the corner. Obviously need the score here. I don't think a draw will be enough in the uh, grand scheme of things. This was the scrum from the previous penalty. Northampton so much power, Aston didn't really have any choice but to collect that himself. Crowder on the move, this is a really high pressure moment. Northampton need to dig deep to keep Warwick at bay here. Dunn with the ball, finds his mark. They're trying to charge this one forward themselves, it's at the back with Cameron Dunn for Warwick. A Warwick, bit of a rumble. A marching this one forward. The ball's coming out. Can Tanner get in there? Tanner scored. Elliot Tanner, the replacement on the left wing, has gone over. 
with less than four minutes to play. Warwick may well have won this. They went for the jugular. They managed to do what Northampton did at the other end of the field. They piled the bodies in. And what a score for Elliot Tanner. Real bold move that from Warwick. Putting it into the corner, keeping their fans happy. Really strong maul here, as you can see. Just rolling away the Northampton defenders. And then obviously just feeding your man out on the outside. And a real vital score here. And the kick here, even more important. Well, Adam Lane did. He was brave, wasn't he, to peel away from the back of that because they had the momentum. He peeled away, got the offload out. And Tanner still had some work to do, didn't he, to finish that off in the corner. And he's kicked superbly all day, this Finn Smith. But this is a real test, kicking into the wind, a tight angle, uphill slightly as well. Finn Smith with the conversion for Warwick School in this RFU Under-18 Schools Cup semi-final. Wind just taking that one away, just giving Northampton a glimmer of hope. Seems to have been a slight malfunction on the uh, the clock here. Could be about five minutes according to our clock, but we're trying to work out what the game clock says. Well, we're certainly into the final few minutes of this game as Elliot Tanner went over in the corner. The clock read three minutes to go. There's not much left for Northampton. The atmosphere has really built up, and this is only a two point game. A penalty or drop goal would win it for Northampton. They've got to try and pin Warwick back as Aston. Pings the box kick high into touch. Fever pitch. What a game. Second day of an epic semi final here. Could, could come right down to the wire. Northampton's ball here. They need to make sure, safe option, get that ball in your hands, give yourself the chance. Well, the man with the mullet, the captain for Northampton School for Boys, Callum Burns. His accuracy at the line-out has been superb today. But needs to bring his very, very best. In these final few minutes here. It has been an end-to-end -end game. At half-time, Warwick were leading 20 points to 11. 12 unanswered points, really from Northampton until that try from Tanner. This is where the crowd can really just give you that edge, help you get over the line. And Northampton hey, needs something special here. Just, uh, when 15 works his way on that side, just get, just, can you tell me what that change is for? What injury it is? Just clearing the water boys off the pitch and they're ready to go. Thank you, mate. On your man. Happy day. Callum Burns with the line out then. Does really well to pick out Tom Heslock. They've got some momentum. Got the ball back as well, which is so important. Talisman ball trying to bash it up and give his team the go forward. That was a great counter there from Warwick. And they get the penalty. Ball decided midway through the ruck to get back to his feet. And it was the counter rucking from Bamfield that won them the penalty. Wow, this has been a fascinating game, hasn't it? End to end stuff. Northampton kicking things off with the first try inside three minutes. 
Finn Smith will try and send this as far downfield as he can. They need a bit of magic here, Northampton. They're either going to need to poach this on and try and go a good 60 metres, try and claw back this game. But this is where experience is so vital. You can just see the Warwick players just slowing things down a bit now. Just trying to eke this game out as much as possible. Cameron done with the line out. Yeah. Peter Corn, our referee, looks on. They managed to get it back. It was under some pressure, though, from Northampton. Not giving up just yet. They know there's still some life in this game. Northampton Trail, 23 points to Warwick's 25. Change of direction for Jack Aston, looks blind. No hands, Red! Warwick have been really good at securing their, all, their own ball all day. It's going to take a magic poach here, maybe from Northampton, to get them turned over. Warwick really having to throw the bodies into the breakdown now. Smith looks to come blind. Spencer with the fend, goes on his own. Still charging forward, it takes two Northampton players to bring him down. Well, that pass from Aston, just a bit wayward. Smith has to think on his feet, and that's a great kick, and it's well collected. A dink over the top. Warwick may be in for a sensational finish here. It's picked up, and they've gone over. I think it's Banfield, the captain. Well, that is Maverick stuff from Warwick School. And that may be the nail in the coffin for Northampton. Oh, absolutely speechless there. What, what an opportunistic kick in behind from Smith. Really lucky bounce there from the winger. And he had the audacity to chip it in behind. Foot race with Grayson. Look at that, just a little kick in behind. Well chased. And it was the captain. What a way to round it off. Again, another fortunate bounce. And it is Captain Banfield. What a way to finish off the game for him. And that has broken the Northampton hearts. Well, we've spoken about this wind all day. And it's just proved supplier for Warwick at the end of this game. Smith didn't really have much option. It was a wayward pass from Aston, wasn't it? The ball falls to Finn Smith for the conversion. Straight through the uprights. That is full time. Warwick are off back to Twickenham. And Warwick have done it. For a second year in succession, they head back to Twickenham for the RFU Under-18 Schools Cup and they will meet their arch nemesis, Whitgift to try and take a title which was stolen from them 12 months ago. Uh, an excellent game, heartbreak for Northampton. Like I said, we're, through, we're in the game all throughout and a couple of real clutch moments there, real pieces of skill under high pressure from Warwick, showing that their experience has told. And like we said, throughout the game, they haven't had much possession They've made so many more tackles than Northampton, according to our statistics. But they've come away winners here, and you could say arguably deserved winners. But again, another epic semi-final here, and I can't wait for the final. Well, what a game that has been. A superb fixture and a superb final in contest, and perhaps some of the best scores you'll have seen in schoolboy rugby in the UK all season. So let's take a look at the highlights. Whilst Warwick celebrate and Northampton commiserate. This was the opening score from Northampton. It was their fly half in the end after this great break from Josh Ball. Ethan Grayson finishing it off after some good play by Jenkins.
And that was just the perfect start, really, wasn't it, for Northampton? They looked the stronger side in the opening quarter, didn't they? Yeah, <laughs> tough, tough for them to take. They've done things really well today. Just at those real tight moments, just those errors crept in. I remember the slight knock on when they were in a really good field position um, in the ascendancy. Um, but Warwick been ferocious. Their defence, absolutely awesome all day. And on that, their execution under pressure, letting their, uh, their experience tell and uh, deserved winners here um, and they deserve their chance to, at redemption against Whitgift in a couple of weeks time at Twickenham. Well this was the try of the match certainly. On the counter attack really stolen at the line out lovely break by Spencer. Fed Smith and look at this for an offload and classic support lines from Jack Aston, the scrum half. That really, really turned the game on its head and put Warwick in at half-time, 20 points to 11 up. This, the return score at the start of the second half for Joel Grayson. Just when we, this is when we just thought Northampton were back in it. And this a great drive over try from Northampton gave them the lead. We thought the game was it theirs to be had. Superb driving all in the end. They were unlucky perhaps a few minutes later to have, or well, can see the penalty in this position if the Warwick sacked in. And if that maybe was a little bit of a different call, how things could have been different. Warwick trailed at this point, 23 points to 20. But they came back with a bit of bite on their own score sheet. Almost this. kicked enough. Well, this is Smith made on that last conversion. This is what we're on about. They they scored earlier on uh, from a, from an epic maul, uh, but they did quite well here. Um, the number eight uh, to detach himself there and feed uh, number twenty. Elliot Tanner for the all-important score as we just watched this from a different angle kept that ball at the back which is so important kept Northampton hands off it saw the opportunity man had bitten in in acres of space Tanner did well to finish there good strength and set the Warwick fans into absolute raptures but that wasn't the end of that still more to come from Warwick just look at the Warwick school supporters there on the touchline because they were absolutely live pictures now look at that yeah some excited mates there some great stories to be told moments like this you won't ever forget as a schoolboy coach is just uh, telling them to sort of dampen their celebrations a little bit have some respect for the Northampton schoolboys this is the, the telling moment final nail in the coffin it's almost a kick to nothing really a kick into space and the bounce of the ball and another audacious kick there. And it was the Warwick captain at the end. He bundled his way over. It was, in essence, almost the perfect kick for Ben Smith because there was so much space over there. He didn't really have much time, but to look up and slot it over and into the wind as well, it could have been very different. And that was his reaction after the successful conversion, which sealed the game. Well, what a match this has been. Warwick head to Twickenham where they will face Whitgift, a replay of the 2019 final, and they will be seeking redemption from 12 months ago. The sun's shining down on this now, finally here in Northampton. Bill, thanks very much for joining us today. It's been a pleasure to have you on commentary with us. Thank you very much and uh, must say a big thank you to Northampton School for hosting us so well today and a, a big well done to Warwick School and good luck to both Warwick and Whitgift in the finals. Well that is it from Northampton, a wonderful game, a fantastic end and deserved winners. Final score, Northampton School for Boys 23, Warwick School 32. Super goal!
back of a really pitch side. England have won this one, 22 points to six. There's a little bit of an arm wrestle at the start, but England ran away with it in the end. Champions, the London Monarchs.